y'all. We're back today, uh, really talking about um, what it, you know, what are the uh, repercussions, I want to say, of a marriage where a man is passive and his wife appears to be dominant. Before we get ready to talk about that, though, I want to do some announcements uh, today. Today is Ronnie's birthday. <laughs> He wasn't looking for that one. He wasn't looking for that one, but it is. It's his birthday, y'all. Y'all, y'all just wish him a big old happy birthday. And then um, oh, we wanted geez. to um, we wanted to also tell you guys so that you can be praying for us. Yes. We will be um, leaving this week, uh, going to Jamaica to do a evangelistic uh, crusade. Yeah, yeah. And we will be um, partnering with Eyes on Me. Inc., which is ran by Trey Nine Herring and his wife. And uh, we're just excited about what God's going to do as we begin to uh, teach and, and really bring the gospel yeah, that yeah. people might be saved while we're there. And so we're, we're requesting your prayers in a very serious way. And, and we also want to let them know, let the, the viewers know that if they're ever in need of, of us to come by and and, and do something at, at their place of business or right. church or, or wherever you may find yourself, uh, we're available. Uh, uh, Life Change Ministry. Uh, and we want to let you know that we uh, we look forward to, to hearing from you, comments or whatever. Uh, and we, we're excited about going down to Jamaica because uh, God is going to do something great there. Absolutely. And also while we're just, just generally talking, I want you to take a look at who may be a leader. Please go by that go by that uh, blog and take a look at what God's doing um, for His men. Yes. And yes. Uh, women, I want you to take a look too because sometimes you can go to the blog and get some insights on how to deal with your your husband right. and even your prospective husband. Right. I think all of all of what Ronnie is is uh, doing on who may be a leader is very important to both unmarried and married women. So please go by and take a look. That's who me be a leader. Mm -hmm. And that's www.ronnyrock.wordpress.com. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I, I hope that you will be blessed. But uh, we're gonna, we gonna, uh, we gonna get into what we, what we set out to do because, uh, you know, in this time and age, Dave, you know I deal a lot with, with men and what mm -hmm. I'm seeing is a lot of passive men. So therefore it makes their wives look like they dominate. It really does. You know, and, and a lot of people are saying that their wives are out of position. Uh, when you look at it, positioning, yes, but uh, most women is not going to allow their home to go down because yeah, a, a husband won't make any decision. And we know why uh, the decisions are not being made. And, and one of the reasons why the decisions are not being made is fear of failure. Absolutely. Fear of failure. Men fear of failure. And, and, and some of that is from the upbringing. Yes, it is. Some of that is from the upbringing, and some of that is just uh, they've made so many bad decisions that they are afraid to make some decisions. I really do think so, too. I think that over the years, what we've seen both in our counseling and really just talking with people, because mm -hmm. you can find out a whole lot about people just talking to them. And many of the guys that I've talked to, they just don't make decisions. And, and, and much of it's because they don't believe that, that quote, uh, they've made a good one. Now, mm -hmm. you know, all of that's based on a lot of things when you say good. Uh, but in their minds, they don't believe it was a good one because it didn't turn out like they wanted it to. Okay. Let's talk, let's talk in this segment. Let's talk because we realize that, that, you know, a lot of times we run out of time. <laughs> <laughs> and let's, let's talk in this segment the repercussion of when you have a passive man in a home. What, what, yes. what do all that do? for a wife. Let, let's hear from your perspective. What do you think that do for a wife when she got a husband that refuses? And I'm talking about refuse to make yeah. that decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so excited to talk about that because I, I really counsel lots of women who are married to passive men. And, and I'm going to tell you one of the biggest things that I hear from women is that it, it really brings on a lot of insecurity on her part. She can't, she can't really uh, she can't rely on nothing he's saying and doing because mm -hmm. it's not consistent. Mm -hmm. Some days he looks like he want to leave, some days he don't. And on them days he don't, he's pushing her out in front of everything so that she may, she has to make some decisions. Now I'm going to tell you something that's very critical uh, in the lives of women with passive men is mm -hmm. that 
they don't feel that they have their best interest. Right. Because lots of passive men, they ain't ever gonna, they ain't never get, gonna divvy up in a sense that they're gonna always put their wife on the firing line. Mm. Mm. I mean, literally. I've seen this here over and over. They always do because there's a fear for them. They will push her out there and make her make decisions or have to deal with some unpleasant situation mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. you know, he just don't feel like he, he want to deal with that today. No. And I'm telling you that uh, for women, I've had to really, it's hard to come back on that. Women are very funny kind of people in the first place that, you know, we're very careful about how we're doing things. And then, you know, we're going to take care of our family. We just don't do that. We're set up to do it. We our our whole nature is about nurturing our family. And so when that when the when the father is out of whack, it's real hard for a woman to sit back and watch a family go down the drain. Because it literally will go down the drain mm -hmm. when a man's not standing in his place. So I'm gonna let Ronnie talk about what it looks like for a man not to be standing in his place. When we're talking about a passive man, you know, David, I've said many times, a passive man to me is him passing it on. Absolutely. I mean, that's that's basically what, what's, what's going on, is that him not going to make decisions according to his family. Uh, and, and sometimes passive men can look strong. Absolutely. So don't misunderstand that, ladies. Don't misunderstand that men. Sometimes passive men can look strong. Now, how, how, does, how does that look when... When you got a passive man look strong, he orchestrate that thing to look like he the one making all the decisions. He does. He orchestrates that thing to, to make it look like he the one making all the decisions. And I'm gonna tell you one of the things that men do too. They get all the information from their wives, and then do. they look like they made the decision. Mm -hmm. See, and, and now you got the wives behind the scenes knowing that that ain't true. Oh my God! You know I can't what I'm saying? Tell you. Now, now this is what I'm gonna advise women to do: is don't let them do you like that. Mm -hmm. Don't let them do you like that. Call him to the carpet. Call him to the carpet yeah, they and, and really, really challenge him to, to do his homework. Because when you're talking about, let's, let's take, a, let's take a, 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 a situation, for instance, that you got something in the home that's, that needs to be fixed. Oh, you my know? God. And, and so uh, God has called him to be the headship of the home. So now, it's nothing wrong with delegating stuff. But what I'm saying is, is that you are the overseer. And that's what I tell me. And I don't care what you give to your wife. You got to oversee it. Make sure things are intact before the decision is made. Because God gives him the last, the last of the decision making. But you need her input. That's a good thing. But don't make her do all the work. Don't make her go out there and deal with contractors that when she don't really know what it Absolutely. is that she's looking for mm. and especially I, you know and I, I just it just really upsets me when you got men that 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 know this stuff that know you know uh, say for instance plumbing you know you may know a little something about plumbing but you you having your wife deal with the with the plumber all the time you know and then when something happens mm -hmm. then you mad and you want to blame it because she made the decision exactly and so you know passive men uh why you have to be careful uh, of not letting your, your husband uh, do you in that perspective. Now let me talk a little bit about what it means to not let it because that's a big old, big old thing right there. Yeah. I mean it can come out either good or it can come out bad. I think that when you know when you're dealing with a passive man you got to always be calling him on what it is that he's being passive about mm -hmm. because what happens to us we get really rolled down by him. You know, he keeps wearing us out, just wearing us out over and over over these stupid issues, you know. And so eventually what happens is you shut down as a wife. Mm -hmm. I know. You just shut down. You don't want to talk about it no more. you just doing what you got to do to make it. Mm -hmm. I remember Pastor used to say, we're just faking it to make it. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, really what's happening is that you are, you're decreasing yourself. And at some, po at, at some point, you're very vulnerable. Right. I, right. I need to tell you that you're very vulnerable. But let me tell you what, our time is run out on this tape here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. We'll, come, we'll, we'll take up on the next tape. And, and the next, next time we get with you, we're going to talk about what the scriptures say about the headship and the wife and, and how that whole thing play out. May God bless you and keep you as our friend.